Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Get to Know Your Artist. I'm Ritavile Magiseni and today with me I have Royal Prinity. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. So, getting into the world of business. How are you doing, sir? Nah, I'm wearing well you. I am amazing. Give thanks for the nice energy. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Oh man, it's amazing, it's amazing. So now, your name. Right, before we get into anything else, your name, Royal Trinity. Where does it stem from? Okay, uh, Royal is actually just the title, you mm -hmm. know, like Master and Mrs. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Africans should just be Royal Mang Mang, you know? Oh. Yeah, so because uh, I believe like divinity dwells in our DNA. Mm -hmm. So that's why like I constantly want to be that reminder that we are Royal, you know? Mm -hmm. We are born divine. And we should own it. In yeah. every single way. So that's so where it comes from. That's where the royal comes from. Mm -hmm. uh, Prinity, at first, uh, my stage name was Poetin. Poetin? Yeah. Why? Uh, it's a poet who focuses on en enlightenment. Oh, yeah, okay. so. Uh, it runs deep. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, it definitely and, and, does. Mm -hmm. My birth name is Bokang, and Bokang mm -hmm. uh, translates into uh, to, to praise, you know. Okay, so I took okay. the praise, mm -hmm. it's another P, you know. So uh, my, my spiritual color is purple. So now having all of these three P's, I can't constantly go and like, yeah, I am. Poet and purple, you know? <laughs> yeah, So yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe I should take the trinity of this piece. Oh. And instead of saying the trinity of peace, you know, I'm like, okay, remove the T because I live in my truth. So yeah. I don't have to have the truth, you know? And then because, put in, yeah. that is our trinity yeah. came. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's nice because earlier this morning, I'm thinking royal trinity, royal trinity. What does it mean? I mean, it's, it's my first time hearing such, right? So obviously, first thing to do, go over to Google, check it out. And I get a Gujarati meaning of that. It's like a fairy. And I'm like, fairy? You? Oh, no, definitely not him. But yeah, it's a very nice thing, really unique. Now let's get into your music. Your music, uh, I can tell that music is a huge aspect you know in your life and it plays a huge role as well and it's basically you it's a part of you yeah how did that come about um i think what i'm what i'm working on now mm -hmm. uh, is something way different than what i first experienced you know yeah so i i grew up in like a choir you know church choir mm -hmm. but when i got to high school like things changed and I just like started going into hip hop the most. Mm. Yeah, but um, sometime in 2015, like I decided that I should just focus on making music. You yeah. Know? And then I, I, I like I realized that when I listen to music, you know, I come up with my own words. Oh, so, really? and then I wrote a lot, you know. Then I started writing poetry a lot. And I was like, man, this is what I want to perform, mm -hmm. you know. And as soon as I started performing my poems, I I then realized that. But ah, I shot the music. Ah, that you melody, know? need yeah, the melody to yeah, go along with that. The transport. Oh. Yeah. So every message needs transport, you know, because the message is there, but the message needs to be like sent, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like the poet, like the poem. Is the message, but now the message also needs to be sent, really? you know. And through yeah. a song. Yeah, so that is when I realized that. Oh, okay, man, I should go back to making music mm -hmm. for my poems because now I have a lot of poems, but they don't have transport. Ah, oh yeah. man, that's really, that's really amazing. So now, started with poetry, right? Hip hop. I wonder how that went. I'm getting a very colorful picture, 
but <laughs> now we are here all right so now from your first song after you released your first song did you have any doubts or about yourself you uh, know, in terms of your career you know the first song it determines a lot it can either make you feel like oh, oh no am i I'm, <laughs> this is not it this is not what i'm supposed to do now you see like me i'm i'm much more of a of a live performer you know mm -hmm. yeah so having to record music and having to release music it's 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 not like it it takes the create the the create the creativity out of me you yeah. know so i have a team that actually focuses on that mm -hmm. and which is helping me a lot so that i can just focus on Making. rehearsing and performing mm. you know yeah so uh, when my first song came out like to me it was just like okay now this is happening this is really happening it's in motion yeah, now things it was, are starting like, it was that thing for me it was yeah. just to me it was just validation and the know? response that came with it as well would you say yeah, it has been crazy you know like i don't know how to receive it mm -hmm. i am still learning how to receive it yeah man yeah. but i've listened to your music you know i've, I've sat with you while you performed which was a bliss by the way because he is super talented now let's talk Thank about <laughs> let's talk about stream motions stream motions right yeah tell me about that uh string motions is a okay initially string motions was a like was just intentionally uh composed for for mental health Mm -hmm. you know for mental therapy so uh the guitar is tuned into 432 432 is a frequency of healing so uh having that having the sound mm -hmm. now uh, channeled into that frequency uh i wanted it to be tested out you know i wanted to submit the album to a mental health inti like institution mm -hmm. so that so that it can be put into trial so that we can on patients yeah on patients on patients so that we can find out if the 432 frequency maybe can intercept the people's emotions yeah. you know that that was initially what i wanted for the album mm -hmm. but i can be performing it you know so for the performance side uh, i decided to collect all of my favorite artists that i want to work with mm -hmm. and then uh, basically, it's just a jam. Can you give us like a sneak peek? What's so it's like, yeah, in there. Ah, well, you know? well, can I, can I, can we, can we do it at the, at the end? Okay, okay, you want to do it at the end. <laughs> yeah. Now, your music, your music, like you have mentioned just now, that it's about healing, right? It's different when one listens to it; they are able to truly tap into themselves, right? So now. Is, is that the intent or was it initially the intent when you started the music just to heal people or were you doing it for yourself first and then sending it out? Uh, I wasn't going to release it if I was just doing it for, my, for myself. I mm -hmm. think for now, uh, it has done what it could have done for me. Mm -hmm. That's why it is telling me that I should share it, you know. Mm. Yeah, the so... Uh, for, like for me, I, I am doing it for the next person mm. who might be going through what other people that I encounter are going through. Yeah, and your music, as we're saying, the one that we keep talking about, it's a mixture of jazz, African folk African music, folk, reggae, hip hop, Just and a little bit of soul. All the sounds merged in there. It's not something that's very prominent. In Bluefontaine, I've never met another artist I can say merges jazz, hip hop, and folk African folk music, right? So, how was it starting out? Since it's not a popular thing, it must have not been easy to get people to to kind of relate in a sense. Yes. I think the reason why the title is Three Motions, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, all the music needs to like needs to do is is uh, change your emotions, uh. you know. Uh, and if it doesn't do that, that means that it's not the medicine for you, you know. Mm. So uh, 
all of those things you know like when you when you listen to the whole album it's not like it's not like you cannot classify it into like okay this like the whole album has uh, uh, one feel oh. you know it doesn't have one feel so i feel like it's a response to different kind of disorders and disorders and feelings yeah. you know yeah so for me um, it came to me like that it came to me at different times mm -hmm. you know so the music came with different feelings and the the names also came about with with different concepts because of how the strings were talking to my emotions ah yeah. okay that's amazing that's really amazing and i am really touched i hope you are as well but now performing you love performing right and you don't only perform in bloom am i correct yeah, yeah, you also yeah, perform yeah. in soweto <laughs> could you tell me about that because now Comparing Bluefontaine to Soweto or just Gauteng as a whole, it's like a different kind of feel, you know? So how, how would you say the balance between that is? Uh, I think uh, here in Bloom is home, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so going to Soweto is a whole different experience and on a bigger scale, you know, mm. on, a, on a bigger professional level. You know, there are, there are a way that you get treated when you are that side that you don't ex uh, experience this side you know so mm -hmm. it broadens the mind and it broadens the creativity to also experience you know experience different um, different artists mm. that are way different than you that you know but like that you might never meet again mm. you know like different people different, different arts people, as well different arts different so energies it opens you to a lot. Yeah. It opens you to and a that lot. That is the basically. most amazing part for me to, to travel and mm -hmm. go and perform because now you also get to uh, send a message to different people. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And you have been making waves. <laughs> Now, the other day, I saw an article. I was going through the newspaper and I saw an article. How does that make you feel? You know, just seeing your music uh, being well received by people and actually not just being well re received, but then them feeling it, like you said, like a stream of emotions, right? So how, how is the whole experience? I think, as I have said, I am still learning to receive it you yeah know? like now i don't know i don't know to me it's just like it's, it's just validation mm. you know it's like yeah your dreams are valid every time something happens that is in good favor you know i'm like nah that's, that's it this is how you yeah. do it oh man that's super great so that's where we'll leave it unless I am leaving something out that you would like to tell me about. I'd like to say, Maybe play a few <laughs> notes for me. I'd like to say like uh, thank you guys for coming through me mm -hmm. and um, for being here at uh, Spring Motions Earth Day celebration. It's my birthday on the 11th but I, I, I celebrate the day when the side when the sun sets oh. you know? so when the sun sets today like there's my birthday starting because i can't wait for 12 o'clock to celebrate you yeah know? so we're celebrating already so i am i am i am i'm gonna be celebrating on stage okay that's amazing yeah. that's amazing so some notes can we hear a bit i'm just gonna play um uh, Machingilani. Machingilani was supposed to go out yesterday and it couldn't go out because of the technicalities of the, the uh, distributing platforms, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are issues with the, with the cover art, so we had to change the cover art and that makes it late to be released. So I'm like, let me just play it, you know. Okay, let's hear it.
Kaji Shorts. So it's Kaji Shorts. Time time is not on our side, but this this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You can hear it for yourself at home. It's it's amazing. Royal Trinity. That's where we're gonna leave it for today, right? Catch us next week again, same place, same time, different artist. Don't forget, stay blessed. Thanks. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe.